Ding. Is this a thumbnail? Ding. But <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Hello everyone in YouTube universe. Welcome back to my channel. It's your local internet auntie, Auntie Ren, here with another video. I'm giving it to you again. Another video for your pleasure and your luxury, just yum yum that you're dealing with right now. So welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Hope that you are enjoying your summer because guess what guys? Summer's almost over. <laughs> Summer is almost over. We are talking fall. We are talking sweaters. I was just perusing the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I was looking at some of the bits that they had on there. And guys, it is almost fall. Summer is almost over. This summer was a complete wash for me. So I got some great bits as far as fashion pieces, but unfortunately, I ain't go nowhere and so I didn't get really a chance to even wear them but yeah we're already speaking on autumn we're already speaking on coats and boots and so on so I'll have in a future video some um bits that I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale I was going to do a big you know video about it um but to be honest I struggled to find things that I liked um at, on this sale this time around last year I went ham and I got like loads and loads of stuff and i was getting things shipped like every day uh pieces were coming in but this time around I, I i honestly struggled so comment down below if you're also struggling with that nordstrom anniversary sale that's going on right now i think it's going on until like august 17th or something like that august 20 something but it's going on right now when this hopefully by the time this video goes live it's still going on um and i really uh, as a plus size woman um you know who likes you know some more luxury pieces and things like that i, I didn't really see too much so i got a couple of bits and i'll do a little haul when it comes in but I don't know, I was like, eh, I don't think it was worthy to do a whole video like prepping for it and everything because I, I didn't see anything that was really like, like I was dying for. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here for. We're here for something good. We're here for, for something really good, okay? So, you know, summer's coming to an end. Uh, it happens to almost be my birthday. Applause, applause, applause for that. So I, again, shopping for things. Um, you know, just picking up bits here and there and things are starting to come in um, as I prepare for my birthday and as I prepare for my autumn wardrobe and some pieces that are going to be core for me going into uh, the fall here in New York City. So, guys, we have another unboxing. So, when this time, oh, let me get this, sorry. This time, got this one from, is this a thumbnail? Got this. <laughs> got this from Saks, okay? Um, so I've had my eye on this for quite some time. I am an 80s baby, so I have a affinity for this particular brand. Uh, when I was coming up and growing up, this brand was, you know, very iconic uh, to my generation. And this particular, um, this particular style is very, to me, kind of old school I guess um because I remember like my mom having it I remember my aunties and so on carrying uh this very you know similar style so when I saw this line like get re-released um within this brand uh in this fashion house I was so excited and I knew that I was going to get a piece from it so I've been kind of lusting after this for a while but I finally got my hands on it <laughs> and I finally got it got it from Saks um, why did I get it from Saks? I don't know. I think Saks was running some type of promotion or something like that. And I was able to get a little bit of a discount. Uh, once in a while, you can ke catch these things on discount once, once in a while. Um, but yeah, so it was just a little bit more economical. You know, your auntie loves a good deal. We love to get things on discount. We love to get designer luxury stuff on discount. So I was able to nab this on a little bit of a discount. So let's get to it, yeah? So came from Saks. Da, 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 da. Throw it over there uh da, 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 da. okay so full disclosure i've opened it already and checked it out because you never know you just never know you never know what's going on in these streets okay people be doing some crazy business all right in pandemic time you just never know so full disclosure i've already opened this and checked it out 
but I wanted to give you guys the full uh, experience and have it come out of the box for you. So I did have tissue paper and all that, but the tissue paper was a bit cumbersome. So I got rid of it and it was loud and it was all over the place and it was unnecessary. So I got rid of it. But look guys, can you see where it's from? Where's it from? Where's it from? Where's it from? Woo hoo! I changed it up on you, right? Ah, you thought it was gonna be Louis Vuitton again. No, it's not. <laughs> How about that? So guys, love the dust bag, by the way. Love a drawstring dust bag. Who doesn't love a drawstring dust bag, right? Love the drawstring dust bag. This dust bag is so different from what I get normally with my Louis Vuitton bags. It's a lot um, more slippery. Um, it's almost like satiny kind of feel. So it's very drapey, whereas um, the Louis Vuitton ones are a lot more stiff, you know, and definitely a firmer material, um, a thicker material. But this one is definitely very breathable. But you guys, OMG, looky, 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 ta-da, ta-da, da 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 Guys, so this is the Gucci Large Supreme Tote. I call it the Ophidia, um, the Ophidia print. Comment down below if it's called something else or if you know it as something else, but I call it the Ophidia print. Um, it is just one big massive tote this tote is humongous i love that it's a bit longer than what i normally have so it's a little bit different from some of the totes that i have already like louis vuitton so i love the shape i love that it's got a little bit of um structure to it so it can kind of stand up on its own whereas with some other totes that i have again they're a little bit more floppy they they don't really stand up i love this so inside has this beautiful like micro suede kind of material it's just oh so beautiful inside so pristine so clean it also comes with a pouch um now if you've checked um i just did a video uh unboxing my louis vuitton never four in uh gm size and damier azure um and they also it's very similar in the sense that um it comes with it but if you have if you haven't seen that video go check that video out too <laughs> after this one but um this one comes with a pouch the pouches are, i believe are a little bit um they're a little bit different this one is this one is a little bit smaller i believe i'm going to do a comparison i think i'm going to do a, let's talk about this one first but I'm, I'm going to do a comparison between the two since i've just recently purchased two totes back to back so we can do a little comparison on how this gucci large supreme tote compares uh to the never fall gm uh from louis vuitton but i love this i again i call it the ophidia print but when i looked it up online just to make sure because i always look it up before i start talking to you guys to make sure that i have accurate information it said the uh supreme tote the large supreme tote top hand top handle supreme tote or something like that so i will pop in a picture if i can of how it looks online and, and all that jazz but um it comes with the little pouch the pouch is nothing to really write home about i believe inside is like a fabric lining inside on this pouch oh no i'm lying no it's not see all right it's like that same kind of suede material inside so that's 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 fine that's good i didn't realize that the difference i do see already though is this is a bit cumbersome to detach from this bag so it's like like some kind of button contraption or something happening here and then you know and then it's it's attached to this whereas i feel like on the never fall um it's a little bit easier to kind of pop off i don't know i could be lying but <laughs> but this is my new acquisition guys i thought this would be such a great addition to my fall wardrobe um i can see me jazzing this up with denim see me putting on some nice dresses with this i'm like really really jazzing for this so i want to do a comparison of my and i happen to have it here of my never fall gm compared to this gucci large supreme tote so take a look so definitely some differences i'm seeing right off the bat okay so first things first the gucci tote handles are quite long so it has a longer drop so that's good um, for my plus size ladies or ladies with in the fall and winter when you've got on your coats or you've got on, um, you know, your sweaters or something a little bit bulkier. It's nice to have that drop, that deeper drop so you can get it onto your arm more comfortably. So I like that. It also has a wider strap. 
in comparison to the Never Fall. So again, there's going to be a little bit more comfort with this one right out the gate versus this one, which is a little bit more um, firm and thin and it can cut into your shoulders as you you know bulk this bag up and you put things in it then that can get a little bit uncomfortable obviously i wouldn't be wearing my azure one in the winter i mean i guess you can i've seen some girls wear their um azure pieces in the winter and do a great job i'm i don't know that's probably not me this would be more of a like a summer spring bag for me but you know you get the gist of it we're just kind of comparing the sizes and so on and kind of how you know they would sit on the body and so on this one is obviously a little bit more narrow than what you're going to get from the never fall the never fall is obviously wider so you're going to be able to fit a little bit more stuff in it i would consider this one to be more of like a city tote what I mean by a city tote is that, you know, you can pop your laptop in it, you take it with you to work, um, you know, you can carry like all your essentials for the day. This is like a great oversized purse. Whereas the Neverfull GM, I feel like you can do travel with this. This can be your baby bag. This can be, you know, your gym bag. This can be, um, you know, this is a little bit more versatile um, as far as, you know, some places and things you can do with it. Whereas this one, I'm not taking this um, necessarily on vacation. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit too structured a little bit too um like worky like too workish you know like I, I would i would definitely consider this to be more of like a, a city tote and this one is like more of a all in you know you could do everything with it kind of tote but um but just to give you an idea of sizing and like some of the differences so the neverfull is a bit wider yeah it's a bit wider so there are definitely differences in sizes and, and you know how I would use the two. So I didn't mind getting two totes back to back because I knew that the uses would be completely different for me and what I'm doing with these guys. But I am in love with this um, Supreme tote. I have wanted this print. This print is what I was talking about being like very like vintagey, very old school. When I'm, when I'm thinking about my collection guys, I really like to, you know, think about pieces that are going to be timeless and going to, you know, be in style in 15 years, 10 years, what have you. And the fact that I grew up with this print and here I am now as an adult, you know, and still lusting after this print, you know, lets me know that this is something that it's going to stand the test of time. This is one of those forever pieces, you know, can always do something with it in my collection. I can see my daughter using this possibly, you know, as her first work bag when she's going off to work or perhaps, you know, going off to uni and you're putting some of your, you know, things in it and dashing off to class. I could definitely see her doing that. So, I mean, I love this. I think it's so cute. Oh, let me see, let me see the pouch. Let me see the pouch. Let me see the pouch. Hold on guys. All right, so the pouch is, right? in the two let's see so all right so louis louis vuitton has a different contraption when it comes to attaching the the pouch to the bag so it's just like that loop i know you guys have seen that before so it's like that loop there um to attach the the pochette the, the pouch to the bag um i think the button one might be again a little bit more cumbersome mm, i don't know we'll see um size wise i should have probably detached these right not doing a great job with that size wise the louis vuitton one is a little bit bigger <laughs> the louis vuitton one is bigger guys i'm crushing it here i'm crushing it I'm crushing it um it's a little bit bigger um and uh, it feels like a little bit more substantial if that makes any sense and perhaps it's because this one does not have pockets so because there's no pocket and it's just like one big am i lying again let me make sure because you know i'd be lying guys Am I lying? No, it's not. Okay, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. So the Gucci one only, it's one big empty pocket, like one big open space. Whereas the Louis Vuitton pouch does have pockets. Uh, it has like a little slip pocket um, inside. So uh, that makes this feel a little bit more substantial. It feels like this feels a little bit more almost like a little purse that you could take with you and have a little carry on like on your wrist or something like that. Whereas this one feels a little bit more like like a little wallet or something and you know you're not putting much in here and it doesn't hold as much so but you know it's comparable um the gucci tote the supreme large tote retails for 1750 us dollars before tax Ooh. so it is more expensive than the Neverfall. So price-wise, the Neverfall will probably be a better go um, if you're looking to, you know, be a little bit more economical. But the good thing is that you can you can find Gucci 
uh, for reduced pricing. You can find Gucci uh, in like an outlet, you know, or something like that, whereas Louis Vuitton, that's not happening. So <laughs> you can sometimes get this for a reduced cost, uh, but you know, with Louis Vuitton, you know, you get what you get. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to style this up. Um, I'll try to take some mod shots so you guys can see it on me, on my frame. Uh, just for reference, I am five, seven and a half. Give me my half five seven and a half um and i am approximately i've been losing weight guys i'm approximately 247 pounds now <laughs> yes so your girl is losing some weight i've been on a journey trying to get a little bit snatched trying to work on my 2021 body summer body because you know we we yeah we didn't make it for this time around we missed a train for this one but for next year we're gonna be ready so but yeah so love this really excited about it gonna try to put on some mod shots for you so you can see what it looks like on my frame on my body i wear approximately size 16 18 the dress i'm wearing today is from h&m um and i believe it's in a size xxl um and again you know i'll list all of that information down below so you can you know shop that if that's what you're into as well but I am so excited to start styling this, taking some photos. I want to put on some denim outfits with it. I want to dress it up and do like a work lookbook, even though I'm not going anywhere. But you know, if I was to go to work, what I would wear and start, you know, kind of showing this off. Really excited to show you guys some options. So thank you so much, nieces, nephews for sticking with me and coming back and watching my videos again and again. And if you have been here more than once or you've watched more than one video hello hit the little subscribey thingy right the little red thingy and then the little bell thingy and that lets you know when i'm when i post again i try to post about twice a week so i would love to see you guys i love reading your comments i get so excited if i get just one like comment or i get one thumbs up or i get you know one subscriber we celebrate you guys we talk about you guys so please 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 feel free to subscribe um and yeah like i said in my last video i'm waiting to do a giveaway guys i want to get to 100 subscribers um so once i get there i'll definitely try to do something i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i gotta go shopping around and see what i'm gonna give away but yeah so anyway thank you so much for coming stopping by to see me again and to hang with me and check out some of my luxury finds and i will see you in the next video i don't know what what should we do maybe it'll be my birthday video because my birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks so ooh, i don't know i don't know okay guys love you so much nieces nephews thank you so much for coming back and i'll talk to you soon love you bye